Why are these fingers so hairy? Are they hobbit hands? My fingers aren't hairy at all. They're dead fingers at the top of these towers, though. So, most likely there were many two fingers at the time, like we can see because they dead. But may maybe as the influence of the greater will became lesser, they deceased. Uh, okay. So we have a lot of souls. I'm gonna spend them on shinies. However, I do want to real quick go talk to Gideon. Uh, you. FMK Moog Morgoth Dung Eater? Um... Kill Dung Eater, marry Morgoth, he loyal. I hate it, actually. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm I kinda put myself in a corner there, didn't I? It's just more got so loyal, you know? That's why I would marry him. Also, very dominant. Very beautiful. Very powerful. But he might try to crush my ambitions, and I don't like that. So like maybe not. Maybe not Morgoth. I think Morgoth's the best. I mean, who's better, Moog or Morgoth? Like of the twins? You know? They don't look very much alike. They kind of do, actually, now that I really think about it. Does he just hang out by those thorns? Well, he travels. He's a big traveler. We encounter him three times. He's going everywhere. As far as I know, maybe even more. All right, sorry. Um, this is very fun. I just want to get this dialogue from Sir Gidney Offnir, the not all-knowing, and then hit him with a teabag, okay? About the Lord of Blood's cocoon. Ah, uh, I see. So Mikola was with the Lord of Blood after all. That is some fine intelligence indeed. So that is Mikola? The final clue has been brought into the light. What happened to him? One of the last few pieces the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. Law of causality? It's the opposite of the law of regression. There are four more Nicola of the Halig tree. Found His twin, Malay, Luna, Prince, and Rani is set. So here, if you should learn, I'll trade you. We both as such. Well, I wonder what comes next. If he continues his slumber within the cocoon, all would be well. But perhaps it would be safer to destroy it. Nicola is the one thing that remains a mystery to me. Very interesting. Let's read the lore. However, we do have to keep in mind, we are giving him this information, but I know he's an enemy. He made it very clear that once we achieve what we are going to achieve, he wants to take us out. He made that clear from pretty much the get-go. He sent... He, Ensha went after us, and then he's like, yeah, Ensha got a little ahead of himself. Anyway, sorry about that. In other words, we do want to kill you. Just, it's too early. You don't have enough great runes. I'll kill you later. It's, like, so clear. So, it's good to give him <laughs> information because we get rewards, but we do have to keep in mind that as we give him more information, it puts more of the puzzle pieces together, leading closer to our impending demise. And we know that. Law of Causality. One of the key incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists. Sorry, sorry. One of the incantations of the Golden Order fundament Fundamentalists. One of the key fundamentals. Just like Law of Regression. Manifests a small ring of causality within that allows the caster to automatically retaliate upon receiving a certain number of blows. Oh, I understand why this is an important character to have. Or now I understand why you might want to kill Moog for PvP. The fundamentalists describe the Golden Order through the powers of regression and causality. Causality is the pull between meanings. It is the connections that form the relationships of all things. Maybe that's what we need to tell uh, Gold Mask. Maybe? Because, like, doesn't he say something? I, I don't know. I, I don't really know what piece of information Gold Mask needs. So we're going to just keep running up to him and talking to him and seeing if we have the piece of information. Navalon versus Gideon, who would win? I don't know enough about Gideon yet, so I'm a little nervous about that question, not gonna lie. Uh, gold mask still just T-posing off a cliff size side. Yeah. That seems like a very important little bit of information because we... Oh, the law of regression allowed us to progress gold mask before, so quite possibly now the law of causality will be a second source of progression. 
I actually love Gold Mask. He's such a dingus. Novelin reminds me of Braidor. Am I going the right way? Yeah, perfect. Uh, in that he's sort of like this unstoppable force once he's after you. That's me. Hey, Gold Mask, aren't you cold? Please. No. Ah, oh, nice to see. Do you need some? Ugh, I guess it was a little bit of a stretch. Oh well. You forgot to atone? I don't have anything to atone for. I've never atoned in my life. Never done a sin. Why would I need to atone? Only need to atone if you're naughty. You know what I can actually do? I can level up one of my wings of Estelle to max. Yeah, it doesn't want to know exactly. Eponymous, exactly. Wait, what happened to her? What, what happened to her? I'll upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. That if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> what use have I for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? Aww. Um, I'm gonna level up one of my wings. Ah! Upgraded any armament to its highest stage. Let's go! Yay! Bye. Let's go tell Roderica. I see. Let's reset. I see. Okay, wasn't sure if there's any more dialogue for either of them. Out your own. Oh, wrong. Oh, no dialogue. Okay, bye. Um, hmm. I'm gonna explore the rest of the blood zone. Oh wait, my remembrance. I wonder if this is a spell. Hang on, let's find out. Hi, 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 hi. Don't worry, I'll see it. Wait. Oh, let's go. Lord of Blood's robe. Is that it? Is that everything? Yeah, okay. Attire of Moog, Lord of Blood, embroidered with an extravagant gold emblem on black cloth. The dress of a luminary, the reigning lord and hierarch of the coming dynasty of Mogwin, or perhaps of a raving lunatic. Kind of interesting how the garb is rather similar, but it's just this one's made of like random shit and this one's all fancy. Yeah, I love that. Or maybe he's just crazy. Mogwin's sacred spear or blood boon. Scatters. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Mogwin's sacred spear. Trident of Mog, lord of blood. A sacred spear that will come to symbolize his dynasty. As well as serving as a weapon, it is an instrument of communion with an outer god who bestows power upon accursed blood. The mother of truth desires a wound. It's unique skill. Blood boon ritual. Raise the sacred spear and pierce the body of the formless mother. Stab up to three times, creating explosions of blood with each thrust. This skill will coat the armament with blood flame for a while. So this is Nihil. 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 I don't know how to say it. Whatever. Who cares? Um, the idea of piercing the body of the formless mother and stabbing up to th like three times and thrusting is a little... Whew, a little spicy. Very formless Erden, by the way. Very bloodborne, just like to be very clear. Whew, kind of scary. Um, blood boon, a sacred incantation of Moog, Lord of Blood. Thrust arm into the body of the formless mother, then scatter the blood flame to set the area ablaze. The mother of truth craves wounds. When Moog stood before her, deep underground, his accursed blood erupted with fire, and he was besotted with the defilement that he was born into. So, Morgoth despised his curse of being an, a fell omen, an omen in general. He was born cursed and he despised it, and he went to the complete opposite direction. It was basically fundamentalist of the Golden Order, protecting the Erd Tree at all costs. And even though he was cursed, he kind of did like the good paladin thing. On the other hand of it, we have his twin brother Moog, who went the complete opposite direction and became besotted with the defilement. So while Morgoth wanted to clear his defilement. Well, 
not literally there's like a subtext that he would have he would have preferred to not be cursed here moog relished in his curse and i really like that that's pretty interesting i'm gonna take the spear but i might take both i might use a a, a clone thing i like it that's cool Dungator might be more evil, but Moog really hogs a lot of the creepy, doesn't he? Yeah, Moog is, Moog is f***ed up. Also, when it comes to Formless Mother, Dynasty, Blood, there's a lot going on there. Let's buy a few more upgrade materials, and then we can, uh, we'll, I want to explore the rest of Moog's home, now that we've uh, evicted him from it and made it our home. Okay, no Vare. I think Vare is dead, but it's weird we didn't get his outfit. Oh, I wonder if it's like a- oh, I never took this. I wonder if it's like a Yura situation. Like, Yura didn't drop his clothes, and I was like, what the? But, uh, then we got them from Shabriri a little later. I'm so glad we fought Moog the way we did. I don't care. I- I did the whole Sweat Lord roll dodge R1 shit in the previous fight. I did not like him. Literally, only you. Yeah! I literally, it was me and a copy of me. A brain dead copy of me that spent the first bit of the fight adjusting her makeup, apparently. Ridiculous. So I never went this way. <laughs> but there's stuff here. This must be how I get to the rivers of blood. Not the weapon, the literal rivers of blood I could see. <laughs> I already got the weapon. You know what I realized? We could summon Okina for the Radon fight. I know I heard the name before. I heard the... What the fuck are you doing? Holy shit. Yeah, you need to go, brother. No, no, you need to go. You need to go. Thanks, I hate it. So the Lord of... Bl are they just here now? Yep. That's not good. So, the Lord of Blood is associated with death now? Hello? You are too tanky, you need to go. You got a good shiny spine there. The doot doot of doom. Yo, yeah, that was terrifying! It's actually cheese that breaks the Moog fight. Is it using Mimic tier? I want to stab you in the face so bad. Come back. Aw, oh, man! Where are you going, you coward? Oh. I feel like a Ghostbuster right now. Unironically, a better fight than Wolnir, though. You don't even get souls for that. Nascent butterfly. Wow, I sure am glad that I went for that purple. Sacramental bud. Okay. This place again reminds me a little bit of the Nightmare Frontier. Wait, blood tainted excrement? My brother, please see a doctor. If you, if it's red and y'all didn't eat no beets, go to a doctor, okay? Please. Found in the land of the new dynasty, the bloody excrement of a carnivorous beast. Found in the land of the new dynasty. Mixed inside with half-digested flesh are dense colonies of tiny eggs of unknown but assuredly revolting origin. Oh, that's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. That's highly unfortunate. Hi. No! Shut the fuck up! He didn't- he didn't do the bell, you cheater! There was no duding! Oh. Look at that, isn't this interesting? Honestly, look at the white flowers. Uh, is this not kind of a Bloodborne vibe? 
Um, but besides that, we see these look like arch trees. And kind of look like the things in Bloodborne that, that were in the, the Hunter's Dream. Come on, Raph, you see Bloodborne everywhere you go. Let's get you back to bed, Grandma. I swear, there's this is a Bloodborne reference. It's a Bloodborne reference. Uh, this is a this is a dead one that's cut off, but there's still green coming out of it. Kind of pretty, huh? For sure, Grandma. We know Bloodborne. This is actually kind of a comfy. Like I think I'd make my house right here, this little, on this little. Yeah, this is a this is a nice vibe, don't you think? Hey, fellow kids, that Bloodborne though. Yeah, fellow kids. I don't like you losers. You're all stinky and dumb. Stinky and dumb. No, Sonic the Hedgehog! Holy shit, those things hurt. Like almost as bad as Bone Wheels. Not quite. Until they all walk into my nebula. Lamo. Moon Presence is gonna attack you. Oh no! Look at this fucking trail of dinguses. Oh god. Jesus. Hey, multiple enemies in a group is so satisfying. I know! It can be a little hard to aim it. They're not crazy difficult, obviously. Very interesting that they solidify their blood to attack you. Dude, I need some more juice. These guys are taking it out. But it hurts them. It looks a lot like Frenzy. They scream as they do it. And there's no fire in the blood. There we go. Got a refill on the juice. Alright, you already know what I'm gonna say here. Heroes Rune 3. But like, how bloodborne is this? You don't solidify your blood to attack people? Yeah, my blood's like rock solid because of all the salt. So, yeah. That doesn't work. What does salt do? Doesn't it make your arteries hard or something? Doesn't it like harden your arteries? Hard. Harden your... You know? This, isn't that a thing that happens? What makes your arteries hard? Medical professionals in the chat. <laughs> Educational stream. Cholesterol gets really clumped up. Is, is it cholesterol? I swear there's something that hardens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cholesterol and calcium harden your arteries. Yeah! Thank you, Tana. Local medical professional. <laughs> oh, look at this dingus! Ah! Oh my god. I was looking at the hand. Okay, remember how I showed you guys my ESO houses way back when? Well, in one of my houses, I planted a hand underground. Uh, sir? 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 Did you, did you come out of the tree? It's got fucking double teamed. Due to salt's dehydrating effects. It do be dehydrating. I just want Aurelia here for moral support. What you're saying is, is I should quit eating things. Honestly, yeah. Quit eating, just drink everything. Like, calories, not, like, alcohol. Where did you go? What the hell? Things are all in vitamin E metabolism and antioxidant. Okay, I have no idea what it was then. It was very confusing, because it was like, if you take this this vitamin, be careful and take this mo this vitamin to go with that vitamin. But also, if you take this vitamin, be careful to... And I was like, fuck, I'm just gonna take a multivitamin. Um... Oh my god, it's a crow. But it's like super fucked up. Can I get a medical diagnosis on what the fuck is wrong with this crow? <laughs> I 
Don't tell her what to do? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Moderinos. Appreciate you. Uh, sir? Uh, I heard the sound of you getting staggered, not the sound of me getting picked up. Oh my god. Oh lord, he flopping. Oh, he got toppled. Understood. The crow has a holy fuck itis. <laughs> I'm in. <gasps> so there's a bunch of dead Albinarix. But then they're all bloody. So it looks like if they got cursed. Oh, <gasps> a golden seed. Not that I need any more, but like, you know, just a flex. Just a flex with all my extra golden seeds. Oh no, I'm not tall enough to, to wait. I can get on Tora now? Well, that would have been good to know. As in, I should have figured it out sooner. But I did eventually. Oh, uh, ow? I love Torrent. He's a good dog. One Albanaric had a dumper. They do be kind of do be kind of thick, honestly. These dogs are scary, and that was so many of them. It's a bloody crow. You know what? It do be. And arguably true. So everything here is made of blood, covered in blood, and pooping blood. I don't think this is a very sustainable business model for a cult. Like, I'm not an expert, but I think a lot of these things, like, actually lower your life expectancy and such, so... But do they eat blood, too? You know, probably. Maybe it balances out. But, like, if you eat blood, does it... Like, okay. Do vampires... No, nah, maybe, maybe we shouldn't get into this. Maybe it's, it's too advanced. Oh, <gasps> pretty. Look at all these bloody cliffs. I want to keep in mind, these things are floating, by the way. Like, this is this this whole area is floating in the freaking sky. We saw it from below ages ago. And there was even a phantom that hinted on the fact that Moog is here. And he was right, that sneaky son of a bitch. He knew. There you are. Oh, a stone sword key. That's nice. Thank you. Oh god, the dog has made it. Did I push him over? He looked like he got knocked over. What's this, real quick? Halig Drake Talisman plus two. Wait, Halig Drake? Whoa! Okay. Okay! Jesus. Alright, well... I want to make sure we didn't miss anything here. Okay. So, uh, it kind of looks like we're done with Moe's. It's a cute little area. I liked it. Thank you so much for letting me visit. You know? Moe was a gracious host because he uh, invited me and then he died. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, they- Oh, damn! No, 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 ah! Okay, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 24. That's good. I wonder if we can craft with that. I don't do much crafting, but, like, I think it's good to collect all of them. He said welcome, too. Come to think of it. <gasps> Didn't he? Yeah, he said welcome to my new dynasty. He did want to kill me. Everyone's inviting me to their family, but then- Oh, my God, I missed stuff here. What was that? Heroes Rune 4. Yeah, I miss this whole area. And look, an Ash of War or whatever. Talk about roll catching. Blood tax? Okay, we've heard of blood for the blood god, but have you heard of blood tax?
Don't need to wear a Moog's shackle anymore because Moog is fucking dead. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? I'm glad I double checked. Okay, there's just a little path here, I guess. But there is this path up here. Couple of roses. I love roses. Who doesn't? They're just a beautiful flower. They smell pretty. They're a little picky. They don't grow just everywhere. Oh, look, these ones. Oh, they're dead. They're like all messed up. Are you alive or are you dead? Yeah, you're alive. Weird. Oh, God. Oh, that was unfortunate. Can, I, can you get up, please? Wait, what? Why? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's some stuff here. I almost left, but there's a whole ass area. I thought we were people done. We were, I was about to people fucking leave. Hello? Palace approach ledge road. Uh, what approach? Let's go. I was actually gonna be kind of bummed if that was it. This looks like classic Nakron architecture, though. Architecture. So we're kind of moving away from... Unless that's just it? Is this just it? But like it said there's a palace approach. You wouldn't just tease me like that, would you? No, oh, you wouldn't do that, would you? Else why would there be a fucking bonfire here? Be stupid. Like maybe it is stupid? What what what? 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 Have they trolled me? I think they've trolled me. I thought there might have been something. I guess they just wanted one here so that it's easier to get to here, but like Oh, well. Oh, <gasps> but look at that view. It's on fire. Yep, so I went in there, came out there, went up here, beat the boss there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's a farm spot for the runes. Good thing I don't need it. Oh, and let's see me. Oh, you know what? No, I know what this is. Sorry, it took me a second to realize. But if there's another way to get here, then you probably arrive up here and then you come here and you have to make it through there to get there. Yeah, I get it. I just took a shortcut because I did Varia's quest. Okay, took me a second to realize. Now I understand. That makes more sense. Still kind of a bummer. Let's see the new thing that we learned to cook. Swarm pot, roped fly pot. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, that's the- that's the blood basement all done. As far as I can tell. There's still a shiny here that's been bothering me incessantly. I know how to get this thing. And I would like yes or no answers only. Is the way to get it... ...here in the deep root depths or whatever this- this zone is called? Is it- is it in the deep root depths? She farms PvP YouTube comments? That I do. Yes? Okay. I, I've i been looking everywhere for this, and it's so important because it's it's a golden, right? Like, I need it, but I can't remember. Well, I've, I've thought, I thought I looked everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Bye. I realized something, by the way. When she says golden bow, like a scion of the golden bow, I wonder if it's like a reference to like a family tree. Like, the golden lineage? Which kind of reminds me of Kenneth Height. So I have a little theory on where Nephili might go. I have no fucking clue where, um... Kenneth Height would go. Okay. I'm gonna go... I feel like it's close to here. I can't jump that high. I've tried. Can I can I jump on the ants' heads like a like a Mario situation or? Oh lord. Eh. 
<laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> um. Oh, Jesus. Can't figure it out. Start at the beginning. Okay. Actually, very good hint. Thank you. Raph, I thought you were progressing today. What the heck are you doing? You're just, like, exploring uh, this random item plate. Yeah, I know. It'd be like that sometimes. So, you just go from here. Okay. Probably. But, like... Oh. 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 Oh, my God. Is it this? Is it right there? Is it right fucking there? I never noticed it. Yeah, okay. I'm a dingus. Yeah. Uh, those were very good hints. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Start at the beginning. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. This is a hellhole. Hello, gamers. They're about to get real pissed at me. Oh my- oh my god. Why do the Ant Queens drop Newman runes? Because that's kind of fucked up. I love all the ants in this game. You made it, but at what cost? Yeah, I really should have seen that before. Like, I found it- oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god! It's a lot of ant queens. Is your PvE character? This is indeed- this is my first playthrough character. I'm still not done, so this is indeed her. Uh, she doesn't really have a build, but she is meta level, so I am ready to do PvP on her if I feel like it. Technically. The ant incident. <laughs> I actually rewatched uh, Ant Man the other day, just recently. Yeah, they all drop Newman runes and rune arcs. So we have officially uncovered the real ant basement. Kind of interesting. This is so many ants. This is so many ants. This is a lot of ants. Oh my lord. Also a lot of lanterns. I wonder who put that there. It's kind of interesting. God, I love Nebula. The ants did the Knight of the Black Knives all along, true? Good idea since you have no shortage of attunement slots in this game. Pretty much, yeah. I, I don't really use a lot of spells. Uh, I started off using pretty much exclusively spells because I didn't, I didn't really have a weapon. Um, But I've never been much of a magic user, so now I just use my wings. And I have- uh, sometimes I use rock sling. <laughs> Very concerning how they pop like balloons. Yeah, it's a Dark Souls 2 reference, by the way. There's an enemy just like that, but they expanded the concept and, and kind of finished it off. And uh, shout out to Tanamura. Okay, finally we made it. We've completed the ant cavern. And we, what is this, I wonder? It's a gold that's so special. <gasps> legendary source, acquired all legendary sorcery in incantations chat! Elden Stars! What's that? Oh, I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. I know. I've. This has been used on me. <sighs> PvP, I hate it. Accidental progression! I got it! I got a thing! I got a trophy! Well, that was really worth it. Thank you for the guidance, chat. Thank you for waiting until I asked. And thank you for giving me vague hints. I really appreciate it. That's exactly what I like. Thank you. Why ants, though? They're good in basements. Sucks in PvE, and that's coming from a faith build main. Really? A lot of things seem to be really bad in PvE, but really good in PvP, and vice versa, for that matter. Um, this legendary incantation is the most ancient of those that derive from the Erd Tree. Creates a stream of golden shooting stars that assail the area. It is said that long ago, the Greater Will sent a golden star bearing a beast into the lands between, which would later become the Elden Ring. Okay. 
That's some heavy lore. I need to take a photo of this. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Okay, thank you for the guidance again, everybody. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's go... Let's progress. We're good. Let's go to Faramazula. Okay, I did want to want to try one more pet theory. Okay. Something going on. Wait. Gostok. Gostok the gatekeeper is gone. He moved. I wonder if he has a quest. I forgot about him. Spoiling yourself by being attentive is a Souls game staple. Yeah. Um... So it looks like maybe everybody moved. What's the theory? Oh, right, sorry, okay. Um, Kenneth Height is looking for a lord of the proper lineage. And there's a He's probably talking about the golden lineage. Um, and then I thought about it, and I'm like, I wonder if he's gonna go looking at a bunch of, like, bosses that we fought? Oh man, he's gone. Oh, God. So, it's probably going to be an order thing. So, we might want to try Godric. And it won't be Renala, because Renala is not of the Golden Lineage. But there's a distinct chance that he's going to be looking around. Uh, maybe, like, Radon. I think Radon is, technically. The family's a little scuffed. But Godric is a distant relation of the Golden Lineage. He's legit. Why am I running through it like this? I don't know, maybe he's chilling somewhere that I'll see him. Um, I also want to check the basement. The face basement. Go from the golden lineage. Uh, Morgoth. Uh, Godric. Godfrey. Probably a bunch of others. I don't know. I I'm gonna try this. I could be off. I also might miss him even if it's here. I'm gonna check the face down there, but I do want to check Godric's arena. Because it's a little weird that Godric... Um... Kenneth. Kenneth moved. Gostok, the gatekeeper, moved, right? I didn't think Gostok would have a quest. I should write that down. We don't know what Gostok wanted. Okay, so... He might be in the throne room? They're both here?! What?! Okay, like, I'm glad that I dried this out, but what?! Oh! They're all here! They're all here because that is Gostock! That's the hint! Okay, everybody? Couple things. I don't want anyone to talk about anything. I'm sorry, I haven't seen this. We're gonna experience it together. If you know, please don't say anything. Number two, this is post... Post 1.03 that this happens. That's why if you've been in the game beforehand, they wouldn't have moved. But I had no idea they're all here. Dude, I want to take a screenshot. I don't even care. It's nerdy, but like they're all here. It's so cute. Hello. So are you a lord? It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Okay. Again, I am the Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. <gasps> oh my god, Angel Dragon's Milling Song! Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. So you're royalty, so you are of the proper lineage. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. Sweet. I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance surely lie elsewhere. Kenneth! Oh, nice to see you after so long. Yeah, it's been like 130 Seven hours, brother. Strong, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. 
I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I'm down. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. For the time being, I, at which time I'm raising you to Okay, we'll, we'll rest a little bit and see what happens. I don't know exactly what the triggers are. Ah, you, is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Okay. Freedom was worth squat. <laughs> but besides, I like it around here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. I mean, you're not wrong. Still, I have the lady's trust. So I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. Are you a merchant? Let's go, my brother. Oh my god. The bandit garb? Really? Oh my god. I can't quite afford this yet. Or this, sorry. Do I have one of these? I think I do. This is how you get a buckler? Are you fucking kidding me? That is... <sighs> Leather garb worn by bandits, light for ease of movement and supple for masking sound. In trade, they offer little damage negation. Worn by bandits. That's it. Okay, I'm down. I will be back. For your drop, sir. A lot of runes in your inventory? Yeah. Bandit garb? Well, it's... Okay, listen. Fine, I'll use some of my runes, chat. But what if I need them later? You know, like, what, what if I... <laughs> what if I need... <laughs> Well, then. Oh, oh, almost about the wrong thing. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna rest and see what happens. Personally, give you free runes. No, it's about it's about the principle of the matter. Also, I'm gonna take this off. This is not my buckler. I'm I'm borrowing this buckler right now. All right, let's go. Let's go do something before I implode. All right, I think um I have to go there. Or wait, this is where I went. I cleared this zone. Okay, I think is this is this new? What is this? Ah, this is just an item. Okay, okay. I still want to do some PvP today. Right, Tanith. We'll check on Tanith in just a second. Hello? Sir? Trying to catch some work or what? Man, these guys get some souls. I still don't know what to do about Tanit. I don't want to know yet, um, but I, I don't know because like some of these NPC quest lines sit for a long time, right? Oh, we still don't know where Raya would have went. So, uh, I don't quite want to make any rash decisions on anybody. Um, I guess I go here. This looks like the most... Are they jamming? What is happening over there? Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm not doing so hot with all these boys. Oh, wait. Is there one right here? Wait, was this here the whole time? Oh, my God. <laughs> I went in like every other direction. Although that is my goal. Like I do try to go the optional direction before I go anywhere else. Hey, joke's on you. I'm gonna respawn right here, dingus. Castle in the sky, except everything is a Lauren reference and or a dragon. I don't think it's a coincidence that Lauren is also um, full of electricity. 
weapon is that? Ah, so this is, yeah, I'm using two wings of Estelle because Lyco generously dropped me on a second one for my playthrough. <gasps> Sabershone Miner's Bell Bearing? Oh, that is so important. That is so important. Oh my god, I feel like I need to, like, put this on the map right now. Let's put a tree. Uh, but yeah, so it's really great. Just one is really good, and you could pair it with another curve sword if you don't have two or whatever, but, like, I really like it. You'll still be able to use Nebula, you know? Exactly. Yeah, right? You know? I kept hoping to make connection to the Bloodborne world. I still hope to do it at some point, like, this future or something. So, I'm not a huge fan of the whole, like, they're the same world theory between Dark Souls and Bloodborne. I, it's totally fine, but I prefer to... It's just not my thing, my thing, right? Um, so... Uh, oh, sorry, what'd you say about Ke Nephili Kenneth? It's supposed to be one of the first to finish, like, teach about how quest lines generally work. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I, I, now that you mention it, you're right. Main quest direction thing you were going towards the optional content, you realize you can't go back to the optional content. Yeah, although this game's been pretty good about that, I think. I think so. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what was I talking about? Faramazula, Lauren, um... Oh, the world's being connected. Elden Ring is its own thing, but it feels more like a, like a, like an evolution, a spiritual evolution of FromSoft games. And while it's totally valid to be like, hey, you know, what if they're the same world? That's not something that I personally subscribe to. I'm too thick, I can't fit in there. You look different. Oh, they're death blighted. They're death. Oh, dang. Interesting. Ethering has very, very few one-way paths. Yeah, it's true. It is what Dark Souls was to demons. Yeah, and like what Bloodborne is to Dark Souls as well, you know? I kind of like this. It's cute. Oh, wow. Oh, a gold one, I think. Nice, extra runes. Um, we should got another Sekiro, though. That's kind of like, yeah, I think we will, though. I think that's what they're going to do, because what happened was they were working on Dark Souls 2, and they were working on Bloodborne at the same time. And then, oops, I didn't kill that one. And then they were working on Sekiro and Elden Ring at the same time. Which I really hope can put to rest some of this B-team nonsense they keep spouting for Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne. Um, when people talk about that, it really just feels like... Like, I don't know anything about game development, but I'm honest about that. <laughs> I know nothing. The only thing I do know is this whole, like, B-team worked on, on Dark Souls 2 and that's why it isn't good thing is kind of kind of nonsensical considering that Sekiro, even if you're not a fan of it, is pretty consistently considered a good game, TM. Um, that was worked on the same time as Elden Ring. You can make two different games. And honestly, if they stick with that, that'd be sick. Chat, I want to talk about this. Shit. I think I forgot to do something. Hang on, I'm about to do something real quick. Listen, I meant to do this earlier. I don't want to talk about it. Hang on, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what I'm doing, okay? Just shh, shh, shh. Don't worry your pretty little heads, chat, okay? Don't worry about the fact that I'm on Twitter right now. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this yesterday. Elden Ring is Dark Souls, but it changed to a fully open world game. At least that's what I heard. Yeah, but it's that's a that's even doesn't even go far. If you want to like really reduce it, yeah, it's big Dark Souls, right? Game of the Year 2019 Sekiro. Exactly. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty good game, right? Yeah, it's only it's only uh, it's only 2019 or 2019's Game of the Year. Pretty good though, right? No, some people don't like Sekiro. They think it's not really a Souls game, which it isn't. It's its own thing, just like Bloodborne is. But it's like, it's too different to be considered a Soulsborne. It's not even a Souls game. You know, there's always that. But people agree, it's a good game. So this whole this whole B-team nonsense, I always found very, very uh, bad. But now that we have confirmation that Elden Ring is good and Sekiro is good, I hope that we can finally put to rest the B-team uh, stuff. 
He probably won't, realistically. I like Sekiro. Totally valid. Totally valid. I don't like many games that are considered good. I, everyone has taste, right? It's fine. But now that we have confirmation you can make two good games at the same time, hopefully now we can stop with the, with the B-team nonsense. Besides that, besides that, um, I really hope they continue this meta of working on two games at the same time, maybe one bigger one, one smaller one, stuff like that. Secure took risks and changed up the formula, and that's good even if you don't care, just like DS2. Yeah, uh-huh. You don't, don't care for the formula. Uh-huh. Definitely. It's always good to innovate. I feel like I missed something up here, but I'm going to double check. I never had PvP, so it's excellent in my book. See, that's why I rank it low, because it had less replayability for me personally. But that's just, like, my sensibilities. Um, Brandon Sanderson was apparently approached by Brand Bandai Namco to sort of do the same thing as G uh, George, uh, George R. R. Martin did, in that, like, write the story for the next game. And that's, like, it was reported on yesterday. I saw it on Twitter. I just retweeted it because I meant to do it earlier, but I forgot it. Um, but it's pretty freaking cool. Brandi Namderson? I love it. I think that'd be pretty amazing. Ah, wind user. Just like the Banished Knights. In fact, is that the Banished Knight headgear? I think it is, isn't it? Okay, you need to stop. Hey, calm down. I think this is a Banished Knight. Okay, you hurt. That was an excellent dodge roll. You need to re-up on that now? Go check my Twitter, I retweeted it. You can see the link. <laughs> right now, it's just like a general. It's just like, oh, it could be even fake. Could be rumors. I retweeted it. I don't know. I don't care about... I'm, I'm not a Scientologist. I meant to say scientist in a funny way, but I accidentally said a thing that exists. I'm also not a Scientologist, nor am I a scientist, nor am I a scientist. I don't know anything. Didn't different team make DS2? Kind of, but it's still from, you know? And like, I bet you money there was collaboration. Don't these guys look like the Drake Blood Knights from Dark Souls 2 to an extreme degree? I think I've talked about this before with them, but I didn't... Listen, I don't know what these knights is called. Banished knights, non-banished knights, dingus knights, I don't know. Heard there was an easy mode in Elden Ring? Oh, don't even get me started on that. You know what I love about Twitter? I managed to piss off the people who want an easy mode and the people who don't want the easy mode with two separate tweets. I'm like speedrunning salt at this point. <gasps> so pretty, Jack. Beautiful. This is this. I'm kind of getting a little bit of Shulpa vibes, huh? I do it in one tweet. Well, God, I think I could. <laughs> Maybe lights look a little different, but kind of similar as vibes. It's the it's the shield plus the straight sword plus the red hat, red hood kind of concept. No, I know I saw on your Twitter page. Oh yeah. I mean, hey, my Twitter page? Because there is, but there isn't, you know what I mean? I don't care either way, because if easy mode is added, I just simply don't use it. I don't know why it offends people. Well, see my tweet. And then, that's that's my thoughts. I just got the Banish Knight Greatsword, by the way. Banished Knight's Greatsword, a finely crafted greatsword intricate, intricate, oh my god, why can't I speak today? Intricately engraved with an ancient motif, given to knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Most of these knights were sent to the fringes where they were forced to start anew with only despair for company. These ones appear to be more dragon worshipy. Intricate describes itself as a word. That's actually true. Oh, I should heal. Oh my god, this is a two-hander. I just realized these guys screw me up. Uh.
I'm fighting my own camera, broken camera right now. Yeah, it's like an Oleg. Banish Knight Gauntlets. I think we've gotten hand pieces before. Oh, I already have them. Fierce Warriors were each and all accomplished. Perhaps that is why, despite their territorial losses, they were still named Knights. True. You didn't stream because I was born really cannibal? George R. R. Martin was so well known, though. So was Brandon Sanderson. He's considered, like, the greatest fantasy author of our time. Incredible world builder. Like, so is Martin. I'm not, I'm not saying one's better than the other. It's just I hear people rant and rave positively about both of their work consistently. Um, Brandon Sanderson is, is extraordinary. He was even asked to finish the... Uh, what's his name? Jordan... There was that series that just was made a Netflix show. He was asked to finish it by the by the author's uh, wife because the author passed away. He wrote like the last four books because he, he was asked to write one and he's like, but it won't take, I can't finish it in one. So he, he went all that extra work. Wheel of Time, thank you so much. Robert Jordan, thank you, thank you. So yeah, no, like he's, he's known, you know what I mean? Fantasy is Brandon Sanderson right. So um, it's been recommended to me over and over and over again. Martin is great as world building, but God, do I hate his dialogue. I'm glad he didn't write any of this. It's gonna check over here. I'm kind of like brain off, head empty. Oh, ooh. I wonder how that's gonna be interesting. Possibly they will sell it. They just might. RM is absolutely a George R. R. Martin thing. Yeah, a lot of the early names, like the family, it's his initials. That makes sense, right? But, you know, a lot of the time people are, are taking credit or giving him credit for things in the game. Um, like, oh, you know, this he's so good at world building, he's so good at world building. We have to remember, FromSoft is too. <laughs> um, they probably made a lot of it. Most of it. But his base, his story was like, it's like he wrote a DD and d campaign, but he didn't run it. Kind of thing. Person who wrote Fire Giant's dialogue. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like I'm fighting Kashala Daora from Monster Hunter with this shit. Constant wind sunlocks. These guys are tough. Oof. Things have changed since, since the short story. True, uh-huh. And we have to remember it was a game first. Uh, so FromSoft, as usual, prioritizes- <gasps> No. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh, okay. So what the- okay, hang on. If there's two of these motherfuckers, you know what happens. We are bringing up the only bitch I trust because I ain't ready. I have two Estus and I, I'm far from a bonfire. Oh, god skin duo, huh? Name a more iconic duo, chat. They share a health bar. That's a little fucked up as it happens. Okay, we're playing it safe. Line of sight. Holy shit! Oh, I'm sorry, was that my entire health bar almost? Was that like 80% of my... Health bar? Oh no, I'm in danger. Oh no. Already low? And the 3%- Wait, what hit me? Did I get hit by somebody I didn't see? Oh, I forgot Mimic Tear costs health. Uh-huh, that's true. All right, bye, bitch. Oh, it's right here. Then where did I go? Was it just, hang on. I'm not dealing with you. I forgot maybe Tear takes health. Yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> Listen, I don't use Mimic Tear very often. I forgot, okay? I do like how Mimic Tear costs health, by the way. I really like that. Hey. Oh, what is this, Dark Souls fucking two? It's not the actual fog wall? Wait, what? Can I not go in there? Is it not let me? Is that what happened? Oh, this is bullying. I don't like these boys are rude and stinky. Don't talk to me. Or my son ever again. 
We're going upstairs. Okay, chat, I would have figured it out. Chat, you're backseating again. Give daddy a second to figure it out. Because now, guess what? Instead of me going like, oh my god, I can't use that fog wall. That is so mean. Now, instead, I'm just like yelling at you. That's not too bad of a run up. All right, we're calling upon the only bitch I trust again. I do want to try, but like, uh, oh Jesus! Some of that was my mimic tier. Ouch! Mimic tier, do your job. Do your job, baby girl. Let's go. All right, we focus the skinny one first because it's easy. It's it's the it's the thick one that's a huge problem. But if we can get them both, oh no. Ah, uh, that's legit. Let's go. Let's go. Roller coaster emotions. I know it's very emotional time. Are you? What is happening right now? Like that would all be on me if it wasn't for my mimic here. Oh no. Oh god, he's back. Dude, what is even happening right now? Okay, you need it. You need to go now. You need to go home. Go home. Okay, I said go home, but whatever. Oh, dude, Mimic Tear is holding it down. So if you notice the health bar, the thick boy is like, what, like, most of it? Like, all of it? No. No, not like this. Mimic Tear, hold out for me, baby. Wait. Oh, that's actually kind of gross. I see what they've done. Goodbye, Mimic Tear. You've served me well and beautifully, and I'm proud of you, and I love you. All right, Dingus. It's like the four kings. No one expects the final secret fourth king, fifth king. I mean, I can count. I can totally count. Worry not. Hi. I see it. I see the gimmick. Okay, what the fuck is that? Oh, did you summon your, your friend? The music's kind of a banger, gotta tell you. Please cover up, sir. This, uh... Christian stream. <laughs> Sir? I know you're your like peak performance right now, but like can you not? Oh shit. Okay. This kinda sucks, brothers. Ow. Ow. Oh, thank you, Nebula. Shout out to you, Nebula. Aw, uh, that was scuffed. Ash of War, Black Flame Tornado. We got the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing. Four. Black Flame Tornado. Nice. I did use a mimic tier in before. Oh, you got carried by mimic tier. I don't care. <laughs> Everyone knows the five band band named Godskin Duo. Yeah, that's a little weird. Why do they keep committing to the to the why are you gonna number them if there's gonna be more? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a little weird. Not sure how I feel about that. Fuck anyone who says you shouldn't use summons in duo fights. Yeah, I didn't expect it to get, like... I didn't expect to get it that fast. Or I would have actually tried without Mimic Tear. But I also have fought the Godskin motherfuckers for, like, God knows how long. Like, how long at this point? What is it? Oh, it's an Ash of War! I literally read it and I got confused. My bad. Spin armament overhead and then plunge it into the ground to summon a raging vortex of black flames. Hold to create an initial flame tornado while spinning the, spinning the armament. Oh no, a special aspect of this fight, correct? No. I think it's bad. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a particularly fun fight. I dare you use things developers gave you? I know, but the thing is, here's the thing for me. Here's, here's my general attitude for from games for me personally and how I play just to just to sort of outline it because there's a lot of new people who've come in since I started playing Elden Ring because Elden Ring is banging and it's great right but the way I like to play is I like to try to experience it for myself um in terms of like uh 
I don't know, the game. Like, I like to try to, I like the struggle. I like learning and practicing and getting better. But this game has a lot of fights. If summons were available in other games, like the phantoms and stuff, I would 100% be using them for, for the chalice dungeons, for example, when I'm fighting, uh, I don't know, Bloodstar Beast for the third time. I'd be like, you know what? I think I'm okay. I think we're gonna, we're gonna, like, in the same save file, right? O1S is designed to be a duo fight. Godskin's literally just let's put two enemies and throw them together. Um, wait, are people comparing this to ONS? Because I gotta tell you something very, very uh, controversial. I have, like, I think ONS is great, but I don't know why people are obsessed with it. I, I, it's, it's like a great fight. It's fantastic for Dark Souls 1, but like, I mean, every other game has had better boss fights because the, the tech is better, right? It's not really ONS's fault or anything. I'm not saying they're bad. It's just, it's just, yeah. And not to mention like, but I guess this is required. Is that why this is required? Probably. Maybe that's why people don't like it because it's like ONS, which is also required versus the other duo fights are not required. That would explain it a lot, actually. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. ONS set the precedent? Yeah, uh, Demon Princes was also incredible in DS3. Someone mentioned that. I agree with that. That's my, that's my favorite duo fight, I think. I think it's really fun and well designed, weirdly enough. Yeah, I don't know. Um, right, so it's how I play these games. So I like to struggle and I like to sort of deal with stuff, but it's just if I'm fighting somebody for the 18th time, I'm not excited to learn because I've already fought it. So I'm just like, whatever, I'll just do whatever I want. I'll like, I'll just summon, right? Because fighting the same guy with his with his friend is that I fought the friend as well. It's like whatever. I'm kind of cool with that, you know. But it, I have the same feeling if I was fighting. Uh, if ONS was fought individually and then you fought them together, I'm sure people would have a pretty shit opinion of them the same way. But because you meet them in the way that you meet them, it's different, right? Um, I don't know how people are comparing this to ONS. This is a lot more like Four Kings to me. I think that's a more apt comparison, to be fair. Like, really. It's structured like Four Kings. Except there is two of them at the same time, versus Four Kings spawn one at a time. But I don't know. I think it's more like that, right? Thin guy and not thin guy is why. Yeah, the visual relation is pretty comparable. I seriously never once during this fight thought ONS, though. So I, I'm going to tell you that's a little bit of a weird com 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 comparison. Words, English. I nailed it. Well, that was interesting. That sound. Fight does not balance as a duo fight. It's the only gripe I have. Yeah. Although, it's balanced if you use the stuff the developers gave you. <laughs> 